Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Amy and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the goodies that I got from Abercrombie. It's going to be a try-on haul like I always do. I have a new filming studio setup. How do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comments. I think it is so much better and the lighting is spectacular. I think this setup actually looks a little bit better than my last because there's just less clutter around me. Maybe I'm biased because I do like this setup so much more, but I do enjoy having the rack on my right side. So it's like easy access to pull out from the rack to show you guys the pieces. And then obviously I'm gonna do my try on haul style clips here and there so you guys can see all the pieces on me as well. Let's go ahead and get started before I ramble on too much. This haul is actually a collective one so I did pick up these pieces in separate visits. A lot of the good basics from Abercrombie were on sale so I took advantage of that. I am in the process of trying to transform my wardrobe into a more classic and timeless one. Therefore, I've been trying to replace a lot of my old basics that just don't fit me right or I don't really wear anymore with better quality ones and that resonates with my style currently. The first thing I got is what I'm wearing right now and it is a turtleneck long sleeve top and I absolutely love the fit of this turtleneck top. It is a ribbed material and the sleeves are perfect. I am a pretty petite person so my limbs aren't as long as some other humans and I think this just lands really really nicely on my wrist and I don't have a bunch of like fabric on the ends of my wrists. This is a form-fitting top but it lets me breathe and it's flexible, very stretchy pretty thin so it's perfect for layering during this time of the year because I love base layers that are more kind of closer to my skin for thermoregulation. It keeps me insulated on the inside so I absolutely love this one. This is basically what it looks like. I also did get the same top in a white color and I adore this white top. I get all of my basics in black, white, and a shade of camel or a nude beige color. The white one is really pretty as well. It's a very crisp, true white. The only thing that you might want to be careful about is because this color is so, so white, I already got makeup on it. <laughs> Trying to pull this through my giant head. So I had to use my tie to go to get rid of the stains and then I'm gonna wash it again to make sure that it's all out, but Nothing that a little bleach can't fix, so I love this top as well. Same size, I got both of these in an extra small and it fits me like a glove. Also, I think these tops are on sale right now, so I will make sure to link everything in the description as well as my size and measurements as always. I believe it was only like $12 each, which is a steal for a good quality basic. Next thing I got, I am very, very excited to sport is a light brown kind of knit dress situation. It is also a turtleneck, which I am loving at this time. I really think sweater dresses are such an effortless piece of item to wear in the winter. I probably would wear tights under it so you don't get freezing cold. This is just so cute. I love the color. I have another sweater dress in this pink color that you guys probably have seen on my channel before, but I don't wear that as much because of the color. I'm not a huge pink girl. I definitely prefer my basics, and so I wanted to pick one up that is more of a neutral color for my wardrobe and I know I'm gonna wear this a ton. You can also belt it in if you want more of a cinched waist look and accentuate your figure. I do kind of like the tunic style dress at the moment. Very soft and not scratchy. I highly, highly recommend. I got another kind of fall and winter appropriate dress but it's a little bit different because it's a bodycon. It is quite heavy. The fabric is really thick. It is 
so sexy and elegant. I think this would look so, so cute. It is a one sleeve kind of like shoulder bodycon dress. It is in a pure black color. I got this in an extra small petite, I believe. It is such good quality and I am a huge fan of one sleeve tops because I think it really makes every look more sexy but not too revealing. It doesn't show cleavage or anything. It's just a very elegant way of showing off one part of your skin, I believe. One limb, one arm. Just one. I would probably wear this to like a fancy dinner or a date, something along those lines. And you can never have too many little black dresses in my opinion. <laughs> they always come in handy. The last two things that I got from Abercrombie are jackets or coats. I have a puffer coat that you have seen in my last vlog because I forgot to show this in a haul but I still have the tag on it, that's so funny. I didn't even take it off. This is the puffer jacket that I got. It is faux leather and it has a hood, which I absolutely love and prefer because then you have the versatility of using it with or without the hood. This faux leather material is so soft. I mean, I don't even know how they did it. <laughs> it's just incredible. It feels a little weird, to be honest, because it is so soft. I love this color. It is kind of that taupey tan color. I got it when it was on sale. It was on sale for about 100, which is a steal compared to what it's listed as now. I think it's 180, so I would wait until they have a sale to pick this up. This one is a cropped version. They do have longer versions as well, but I like my puffers a little cropped unless they're super long because I think it makes any outfit kind of more chic and a little more modern. Last but not least, I have a dad coat to show you guys. This is a wool blend dad coat and I have worn this before in several of my no, I don't think I've seen I don't think I've shown it to you guys on Instagram either. If you are following me on Instagram, make sure to do that. I will put my name here so you can follow me. I post a lot of cute photos and do my day-to-day -day life stories on there. So I would love for you guys to follow me. I have been obsessed with this coat. It is that very timeless kind of oatmeal color coat. It is single breasted and this just makes every outfit look so much more elevated. <laughs> you can wear a sweats underneath this and you'll look stylish. It's just amazing what a camel slash oatmeal long coat can do for your outfit. This is a kind of piece that you will have forever in your closet. So I do recommend investing in something like this. The sleeves fit me really well. I actually got this in an extra small and not in the petite version because I wanted it to look a little bit more on the oversized side but it actually doesn't look that oversized on me which I don't mind the limbs still fit me pretty well so I honestly wish I got this in a small petite I feel like then that would have given me the exact look that I was looking for because it would have been a little bit more baggy but the sleeves would have been the perfect size for my arms. This still fits me really well as you can see in the clips that I'm showing you. And that is it for the haul you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me in this video. If you have any questions about any of the pieces that I showed in this video, please let me know in the comments. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you wanna stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments.